Hello everyone, my name is Kodamore and welcome to episode 6 of Creating a Space Shooter with Godot. Today we're going to animate our player based on what direction, left or right, it's traveling. Now I'm going to show you two ways to do this. I'm going to make the first way really fast because I think it's a little bit tedious, but it is good to know. If you recall, we have our sprite node in our player here, and that actually has a texture that contains three of my ship images. And based on this frame value here, we can actually switch between them. So frame 0 is left, frame 1 is straight, and frame 2 is turning to the right. So what we can do is simply change this frame index in the code based on our velocity. So if we go to our player script, the first thing we need to do is access our sprite node. So at the top here, I'm going to access that node by doing on ready var. So we're going to create a variable only when this node is ready to be added called my sprite. And I'll set the equal to dollar sign sprite because we want to get this node that is named sprite that's inside of our player. Next, since this is an animation and it's really not time sensitive, in our normal process function, which again, just runs over and over again, just like the physics process function does, we'll check our velocity and set the corresponding frame. So if we are moving to the left, meaning our x velocity is less than zero, then we're going to set the sprite.frame index to zero. That was my left image for my sprite. Else, if we are moving to the right, so our velocity is greater than zero, it's positive, I'll set my sprite frame index equal to two. That was the index for my moving right image. Else, if our x velocity is zero, it means we're standing still or only moving up and down. So I'll set that to frame one, which is my straight animation for my player ship. And if I run this, that's going to work fine. If you see, if I move left, we get that tilted left ship, move right, we get the tilted right ship, up and down and idle is just my normal ship. So that works perfectly fine. But there's a much easier way to go about this. First, let's start by going into our player here in the scene tree and deleting our sprite node. Instead, we are going to use something called an animated sprite. So we'll add a child to our player node and we'll add an animated sprite node. And when we click on animated sprite, it, see, it says we have an, uh, a warning, and it says we must configure sprite frames. So over in the inspector where it says frames, we're going to have to create a new sprite frames object here. And if you click on that, and you go down to the bottom of your editor, you should see this tab that says sprite frames. And here is where we can actually define different animations. Now in our case, we only have a single image for going left or right. It's not like we have a running animation or anything, but we can still use this system to our advantage. It starts you off with a default animation. We are going to call this the straight animation for when we're not moving left or right. And next, we have to actually add the image we want to this. To do that, I'm going to click this little grid looking icon here, and I'm going to select my image with my three player ships on it, which is this one right here. And I'll click open. This is going to ask you for how many frames are horizontal and how many frames are vertical in this image. So vertical is going to become one and horizontal is going to become three. And you'll notice our images get split up evenly like this. Now my straight animation is consistent of only this one image. So I can click that and add it. If you had an animation with multiple frames, you can click all the ones that are a part of it but mine's just this one image here. There we go. We'll also make animations for moving left and right. So I'll click this button to create a new animation and I'll name this animation left. And we'll do the same thing. We'll click this button, open our player sheet. The settings are already the same and I'll click my left image and add that. And you'll see here's my left image. And we'll add another, we'll name this animation right. Oops, should be right. We'll click the grid icon, our player sheet and select the moving right image like so. Now, if you had an actual animation, uh, in other words, you had more than just one frame here per animation, you could set the speed of it and whether or not it's looping. But since we only have a single image, none of those settings matters for us. I also want to change my scale again, because you'll notice my hitbox is now smaller than it looked, and that's because I had scaled my sprite before. So I'm going to click on my animated sprite, and I'm also going to scale this to make it a little bit smaller. I'm going to make it 75% of its size, so 0.75 width and height. There we go. And we can switch between the animation using this animation drop down here. There's our left and there's our straight on view. And it looks the exact same as it was before. Now we have to go ahead and go back into our player script and change a few things. First of all, this sprite node no longer exists. There's nothing named sprite here in our tree, so that'll give us an error. So instead, I'm going to create an on ready variable called animated sprite. And we'll set that equal to dollar sign 
animated sprite. That's the name of this node right here in our tree. Next, in the process function, where we animate ourselves, we no longer have our sprite variable. So if we're moving to the left, all we have to do is tell our animated sprite to switch to the left animation. So we'll do our animated sprite variable we've created, animated sprite. That's just going to access this node right here, dot play. And this will take in the name of the animation you want to play. In our case, the left animation. That was the name we gave it here in the animations editor. And we'll do the same for the other directions. If our x velocity is greater than zero, then we'll take our animated sprite and we'll play the right animation. Otherwise, we'll take our animated sprite and we'll play the straight animation that we have. It means we're not moving left or right. And if we now run this, we should have the exact same behavior. If I move up and down, we still look straight on. If I move to the left, our ship tilts to the left image, the right tilts to the right image, and that is working just as expected. I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next episode.